go to the Bible, God's holy word, to find answers. Thank you for these good questions we have before us today. Question number one, does one have to be baptized to go to heaven? Well, frankly, I think that that's the wrong question. Why should I want to know the least uh, thing that I could do in order to get to heaven? If I love the Lord, I will want to obey Him and please Him. The answer, of course, is that the thief who died on the cross beside Jesus went to heaven unbaptized. So yes, there will be people in heaven who have not been baptized. However, baptism is our Lord's example and His command. If I love the Lord, I will uh, say with the Ethiopian eunuch, after he had heard a witness of Christ, he said, what doth hinder me to be baptized? It's your privilege to identify with Jesus Christ in believer's baptism at your first opportunity. Now question number two, what and where is the outer darkness of Matthew chapter 8 verse 12? Well, when the Bible speaks of the future state of the unconverted, many pictures are given to us. We read of fire that torments but does not consume. We read of outer darkness. We read of spirits in prison. Eternity, for those who refuse Christ, is just that. They are denied all of the blessings and benefits, the good things that are associated with fellowship with God. Jesus spoke of weeping and of gnashing of teeth. Outer darkness is just one way of describing hopelessness and the absence of every joy and blessing that comes to us from God. And now question number three, does Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 14 mean that we, not Christ, must maintain our position as children of God? Hebrews 3, 14 says, we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Does that mean that I'm responsible to keep myself? No, no one can save himself and no one can keep himself. It's Jesus who saves and who keeps. John chapter 10, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Jude verse 24 talks about God who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. Jesus taught us in the Lord's Prayer to pray, deliver us from evil. And so it's Christ who is able to keep us, but the Bible balances God's sovereignty with human responsibility. God wants to give me blessing, but I have to have my heart open to receive his blessing. We read in 2 Timothy of a man called Demas who left the Apostle Paul, turned from the faith because he loved this present world. I can do that because God doesn't take my free will from me even after I have professed faith in him. Thank you so much for these questions. I trust the answers have been a blessing. If you have a question you'd like me to use on the Bible as the answer, please write it out, send it to me. I'll be glad to hear from you, and I'll get to your question on the air just as quickly as I can. And when you write, all the address you need is simply Faith to Live By, Box 426, Winnipeg, Manitoba, R3C2. H6. You keep asking for this magnificent old hymn, and here is the quartet to sing once again, It is well with my soul.